Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 289 of Constructing Los Angeles. How is everybody doing? We're back on the city today, ready to continue to make some building progress. And today, guys, I want to start working on the hospital again, as I have completed the townhouses. So now we are down to just the hospital, and the four biomes building are the last two buildings on Los Angeles that need to be furnished before the world is done. So I finished the townhouses a couple nights ago, and now they're all they furnished on the interior and everything so those are pretty much out of the way and it's time for me to turn my attention to the hospital and to the four biomes building and specifically for today's episode the hospital but um i'm pretty much set as to what i want to do on in the interior of the hospital i'm going to make some changes to it today but i'll get to that in a second but the four biomes building is still giving me a little bit of an issue i'm still not 100 sure what i want to do with the interior of it so I'm really going to have to figure that out soon as we're getting closer and closer to, you know, the deadline that I was hoping to hit. And I've got to tell you guys, it's starting to make me a little nervous because um, I really want to try to get this world finished by the end of July. And we're already, it's already July 12th. So we're, we only have about two and a half weeks left before, you know, this month is already over. It's just time flies so fast. So I'm starting to get a little nervous. I'm starting to get a little worried that I might not be able to finish the world in time. But the best way to calm my nerves is just to grind out the world and work really hard on it. So probably, you know, it's going to be pretty soon where I'm going to be trying to stream Los Angeles building like a lot. Like I've usually been streaming like once a week. I'm going to try to stream it like two, three times a week over the next few weeks just so I can get more stuff done. I'm really going to be trying to work on it like every night to get it finished because I got to finish the hospital. Got to finish the four biomass building. I got to um, convert it to PC and do a few things on there. And then I got to convert it back, and then I got to add all like the little details, and then finish off the secrets for the world, and then then it's going to be done. So hopefully I can get all that stuff done in two and a, in two and a half weeks. It's going to be a real grind. I'm going to be pinched for time. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm hoping that I can pull through for you guys. But anyway, just to get started with today's building, I want to come over here and direct you guys' attention to this side of the hospital. So right now we have these two iron doors. Um, that basically connect to what I had hoped would be board of directors offices or like hospital president. I don't know, something like that. But I've decided that I think I'm going to change this up a little bit. And I think I'm going to make it so, um, well, let's see. I think I'm going to make it so this entrance here is actually going to be an entrance to a lobby or something like that. And we're going to have like, um, private practices within the hospital. So, um, hospitals tend to have private practices inside of them so um you know doctors have their own individual you know thing that thing going i guess inside of the building so i'm gonna try to have like two or three of those here and then i'm gonna move like this big office space maybe to somewhere else in the building and i would also like to add some sort of conference room as well today so the first thing i gotta do is figure out what i want to do with these doors here so i want to make these uh not iron doors i want to actually have this open so people could walk in you know not have any issues right <laughs> So I'm deciding on two things. One, should I potentially move this flower bed and then put the door here and then make that the lobby? Or should I, and then I can close this off and expand this wing over here. That's a possibility of something I could do. Um, I could try that, see if that works. And then I guess we can go from there. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do it because this uh, flower bed in the front, it looks nice. And I want to keep it, but I'm not sure exactly. I think I might just actually just move it over and connect it to there and just make one longer one, I guess. That could work better. We're just going to have to to practice this stuff and uh, and just see what we can come up with. So I'm just going to get started here. We'll see how it goes. You know, I've done episodes in the past where I've done stuff on the hospital. And you know, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out until the, I really started building it. So we're just going to have to wait and see. But anyway, I'm going to start off by just closing up that wall. That's no longer going to be a door. And this is going to be the new door right here. So I'm going to turn this into probably some glass blocks or something like that. I think that's going to be something that I definitely want to add. So we'll put that in right there. And this is going to be, hmm, I think what I'm going to do is something like this. I'm going to do a couple of oak doors right here. And then I think I'm going to have one of those things where... It's kind of like two doors to kind of uh, better insulate the building, I guess. So like even like if it's cold outside. So you know what I mean? So I'm going to try to do something like that. So I'm going to have another set of windows and wall here. And then put like 
kind of two doors, I guess, and that's going to be this lobby space. So we're going to have this get filled in uh, like this. I'm going to place another set of doors, and then I guess I'm just going to put glass above this as well. So this will be kind of just, uh, you know, you walk in, and then you have to go through another set of doors to get inside, right? So that makes sense. And then I'm going to have like sitting areas in here. This is going to be kind of a waiting room. I'm going to turn these two rooms into uh, bathrooms. There's just going to be uh, men and women's bathrooms in here. I might have to reallocate the space a little bit because this one is a lot bigger than the other one. So I'll kind of make those more even in a second. And then basically through this door is going to be the entrance to the doctor's offices. So essentially what I need to do is just break this and just basically I just need to, you know, reset this just so there's no corridor there because there doesn't need to be one there. I'm going to actually fill this in and you might be wondering what are you going to do with that space in here? I'm actually just going to punch this open and this is just going to provide more room for these doctor's offices on the inside. So that should be pretty good. Hopefully this is going to work out. And again, like I said, I want to try to add two of these. If I can add three, that would be fantastic. Might be able to fit three in here. We're going to have to just wait and see. Am I going to be able to double stack this? Actually, I can get rid of this double stack. Okay, that's good. That's good. I will definitely just do something like that. So I'll just get rid of this. And okay. Let me actually just kind of replace this floor. I mean, obviously, the whole floor is going to get ripped up. It's not just going to be stone. But we're going to get to that in just a little bit. I'm going to switch this out for some white wool here. So we'll get that replaced. There we go. And this right here, I'm just going to kind of reset again because I don't really know what exactly I'm going to be doing with that just yet. So basically that hallway, I guess we can have this lead out into this is no longer like private space. These are no longer like employee only area like restricted access. So we can just actually open this up again. Um, and I think I'll just probably turn this into uh, straight up stone slabs running through here. I think I'll just kind of connect it like that. Might even leave some of that stone on the side. I think that might look kind of good. And then I'm going to open this up a couple of extra blocks and then place down some quartz slabs because again, like I said, no longer, it's actually a place where the public could go now. So you could walk in here if you wanted to come through the emergency room entrance. That's totally acceptable at this point. Um, a couple of things. Let's see. I might actually want to, hmm. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Just to kind of change this space a little bit and just change, add, add a different texture to this wall. I think I'm actually going to um, put in a, a set of upside down stairs right there. And the reason why I'm doing that is just so it, it divides the the sideways pillar quartz with the light gray wool a little bit better. Just something random, but might as well add it. And another thing I got to do is, well, the first off, we got to grab some white wool again. We're going to grab ourselves some sea lanterns and some cobblestone walls because we're going to expand these lights up here, which I'm a big fan of. So let's see. I'm just going to have the sea lantern light. How many blocks away from the wall is it over here? Looks like two, so that should be good. Uh, it's actually already perfect right there. That's excellent. And then it looks like we're going to have it one block away from the corner there. So I'm going to place the block right there and right there. And then I guess we can just break these. They're not really necessary anymore. So just to expand that lighting down this hallway. So the hallway is a lot wider now. That connects to the emergency room. And I guess the hallway that also leads to the cafeteria. Basically just the main hallway of the hospital. This right here is going to be one of the doctor's offices. And then we got to make sure that we keep this space over here. This is employee only. This is the reception desk entrance to the emergency room reception. And I think I'm actually going to take away the closet in the back of this because I want to give myself more space for these doctor's offices. Okay, so we're going to have that closed off. And then I'm going to walk through here. And then I can probably open this up a little bit more. Yes, I can. So we got a little bit extra space in here. So I think I might have room for three total offices in this space if everything goes right. And also I can increase the height of the ceiling here as well. Got to make sure that I do that. Um, let's see, how am I doing this? I guess I'm just going to take the wall up right here instead because that's the, uh, the, the cutoff. So that should work. So this is going to be a doctor's office and then in here is going to be one. And then right here is going to be one. So what I'm probably going to have to do is move this over a little bit because this is bigger than that room over there. And that room, uh, that's not the one I'm looking at. And then this room is pretty relative. This one's a good size. We'll, we'll be good with that. 
Uh, this one right here is probably a little bit too big, so I'll make that a little bit smaller. And then this one I would like to make a little bit wider. So if I actually just break this wall open here real quick, and then I can just move this over. Uh, actually, on the second thought, that's going to actually interrupt this window here. So maybe I actually don't do that and leave it how it is. And this opens up into the emergency room, so I can't really go that way. So I guess we're going to have to have one smaller office and then one bigger one. I guess that's really my only option here, if I, unless I want to drastically change the windows on the outside, which I still could do that, actually. So let me come out here and just take a look. I still have to change some stuff out here anyways. So if I wanted to move these windows, I, I mean, I guess I could. There's really nothing stopping me from moving these windows, actually. So let's actually do that. Let's make a good change here. This is something that you know I honestly just thought of not too long ago. So I'm already liking this change. I think it's a good or better use of this space, I should say. And then the offices that I was going to have here, I mean, these were just going to be, I was planning on honestly just making these like regular old offices space, but I'm actually going to make these doctor's offices instead. because I think it looks a little bit better. So we'll be doing that for sure. I'll move this over. Let's say like two total blocks here. So that's going to be where that door was. So I can actually just punch that open. That's going to go there. The new door will be right there. And then I can move this over. So that's going to give me a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks there. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks there. So 11 and 10, that's totally okay with me. I'm totally fine with that. So let me go ahead and fill that up right there. This is going to be the new wall. So we're going to get this filled in. And then I'm going to switch that window out there. And then the next thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to make sure that the flower bed is moved so it's not blocking the door. And that's kind of be the next three things I'm going to do. But while I'm working on all this stuff, guys, I want to actually get to today's question of the day. And I don't have a question of the day from one specific person today. Uh, but I have a question that's been I asked like 15 times in the comments I saw and like a bunch of times on my live stream. So I figured I would just a answer it like on a video that way um, because it's a pretty trendy topic. And that topic is Pokemon Go. So... Um, Pokemon Go, man, that game just exploded onto the scene, didn't it? It's crazy. I swear, like, everybody's playing that game now. I'm sure, like, many of you guys have played it. And there's been, like, just a crazy trend of Pokemon Go on the internet now. It's insane, man. Like, Twitter is just buzzing with Pokemon Go. Um, and for good reason. The game is really fun. So, you guys know, I'm a very big Pokemon fan. You know, I've been playing Pokemon since, like, the 19th, the 20th century I've been playing Pokemon since 1999 was when I first got Pokemon uh, Red version for the Game Boy Color. Okay, so it's been a long time. And I just want to give my thoughts about Pokemon Go because I have played it a decent amount. A decent amount. And I don't want to say I played it a lot because I really haven't. Uh, mainly for the fact that I'm stuck inside making YouTube videos all day. So I don't really have time to go out and play Pokemon Go. That's what the funny thing about this game. I swear it's like... It's so popular because people don't have to be tied to a desk to play it. You know, you can just play it wherever, and that's what makes it so mainstream. So it's pretty crazy, but I got to say, um, Pokemon Go is, uh, honestly, whoever thought of that, just genius. Nintendo stock went up, like, I don't know, something like insane numbers. Uh, I don't know the exact numbers off the top of my head, but I was watching uh, a couple of reports about Nintendo stock, and it is just booming. So that whoever thought of that, just bravo, amazing, amazing idea. It's just a really amazing game. And what I think is coolest about uh, Pokemon Go is that people that, uh, you know, have never really even played Pokemon that much actually are getting into this game and playing it. And that's what's cool to me because Pokemon something that I've enjoyed for like, what has it been, like 16, 17 years now. And the fact that people like have never played this game are actually trying it and enjoying the game is like really cool to me. And then you're probably thinking like, Dan, I thought you hated bandwagons. I'm like, that is true. I do hate bandwagons, but this is not sports. So, you know, I guess I only hate sports bandwagons. So even though this may be the Golden State Warriors of, of app games, it's still pretty cool that a lot of people are playing it and enjoying it. It's crazy. Like I live in a town that's like, you know, it's not super populated. It's kind of a small town, even though I do live in New Jersey, which is the most densely populated uh, state in the entire union per capita. But my town in particular, you know, there's not a ton of people. I live in a pretty small town and I literally am driving around and I'm seeing people like walking down the streets of my town playing this game. I've seen like groups of kids walking down the road playing the game like near my house and like my neighborhood. It's honestly crazy how much buzz this game has. 
and like it, I think it's really cool. You know, I downloaded it on the first day, and I was like, all right, this game's pretty cool. You know, I could definitely see people enjoying this game. I never expected it to go viral the way it has. Um, and it's it's pretty crazy for someone who's like a big Pokemon fan It's it's pretty cool to see like a game like this go so mainstream, but uh, pretty much all my friends are playing it uh, It's pretty fun as of right now guys I'm like a level six or seven on the game again. I don't leave my house very much because I'm out here I'm out here grinding CLD guys. I'm making video games or I'm making I'm making video gains Okay, that that's a really stupid thing to say, but um, you know, I'm, I'm out here, you know, trying to build stuff and stream and make videos. So I don't really have, like, whenever I do go out, I'm trying to play the game as much as I can. Um, so I'm like level 7 or so. I think my best Pokemon's like a level 400 Golbat right now. I was actually walking around my, uh, my property and my neighborhood earlier today with my dog. And I had a freaking Kingler, dude. I had a chance to catch a Kingler and it ran away, dude. I was so demoralized, man. I could have had a powerful Kingler, but... Uh, Pokemon Go, you know, a lot of people have been asking my thoughts on it since, you know, I'm a big Pokemon fan, and honestly, I'm really happy with the fact that, like, there's a huge Pokemon game that's, like, super viral right now that, like, everybody's into, so it's pretty cool, and hopefully you guys are enjoying playing it as well. I'm imagining that, like, a majority of you guys are playing it. I mean, it, it's probably the most viral app game I've ever seen. It's probably, you know, it's only been out for, like, a week, not even a week. It's been out for, like, five days, and it's probably already, like, the greatest like iPhone or mobile app game like ever made like it's just a really really good idea uh, like I said a minute ago whoever thought of the Pokemon Go idea was just an absolute genius I remember seeing the trailer for this game a couple months ago or whenever that was I, I want to say the trailer for this game came out maybe like last summer and I was like all right that game has potential I think it could be pretty cool you know I don't, we'll see if it catches on I never expected it to go like crazy viral like it has so Pokemon Go, man, we're ju we're all jumping on the bandwagon. Even me, even the bandwagon head of police. I'm the chief of the bandwagon police, okay? Any of you Golden State Warriors fans in the comments, okay? I'm on your case, okay? So I, I guess I only dislike uh, sports bandwagons, but Pokemon Go, man, it's fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying playing it. It's a phenomenon that I've never seen before on the internet. So uh, I'm going to stop talking about that now, getting back to the topic at hand, which is trying to build this hospital. I just built a ridiculously unsymmetrical front entrance here, but I'm trying to do something like that. This is going to be the the new front entrance. So I moved over the flower bed. That's kind of what I wanted. Uh, I can definitely work with that. Just like one big flower bed off to the side. And then the windows, I guess, are moved over. And there's just kind of like a little alleyway back here. I'm totally okay with this. This works just fine. And I think this actually kind of solves my problem here. So this is again going to be the waiting room. And then you walk through here. If you want to actually go to your doctor's appointments, there's going to be doctor's offices in each one of these. We're going to have three total. And then we have the reception desk, back room entrance. Everything is looking good. So I'm definitely happy with that. So the next thing I want to do for this video and like the last thing I want to do for this video on the hospital, that is just planning more things out. I actually want to go up to the top floor. We're just going to transition real quick. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to get to the top floor is probably through here. I want to actually go down this hallway, get up to the top floor, and I want to try to plan out like a conference room or something like that. I want this space over here to be a conference room, right? We have the uh, the research center, medical research center, whatever in that room, which is cool. I like the way that turned out. This in here, conference room. I, it, it just, it just, it's a match made in heaven. It's a nice big rectangular room. What I can do is I can get a big table and put it in the middle of this room. So let's say, is this even symmetrical? Okay, it's going to be a an unsymmetrical room. Or not, I should, it's not unsymmetrical. I should say it's going to be an un, an unodd room. So it's going to be an even room. So as you guys know, I love odd numbers in Minecraft. And even numbers, they grind my gears. But, you know, I can work with them from time to time. So this room is going to be a conference room. It's going to be a big desk in the middle. Um, let's see, how do I exactly want to do this? I'm thinking I'm going to grab some, let's grab some light gray carpet and let's grab some string and let's grab some acacia wood. No, 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 no. This is a big desk. Let's do some anvils. Let's go big or go home. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a ring around of some string. I think I'm going to do this two total times around the perimeter of this conference desk. It's just going to be a big desk for like the board of director meetings, like all right, what do we need to do in terms of budgeting in the hospital? You know, what things do we need to change and stuff like that? That's basically what's going to be going on up here in this space. So this is where all the uh, the big suits are going to be doing their business stuff. 
So, uh, okay, I just choked that. That is not what I wanted to do. In fact, the mono controller is on. Let me turn that off. And let me come over here, place two more anvils on this side. We're going to have to find a way to light this room better as well. But I'm going to just finish this up by putting in the light gray wool carpet on top of this. Again, nice big table here. There's going to be chairs around it as well. I think that's a given. Going to have to find a way to light this place better. We're going to have like laptops and things like that. Anything else I can think of to add to a conference room. Probably going to put a big projector on that wall. I think that's definitely something I definitely got to do for sure, for sure. Going to have to put some decorations on the table as well. Maybe some, I don't know, telephones or some flowers. I'm not sure how I do telephones in Minecraft. Really have no idea. But as far as like a big conference table, dude, that is definitely, you know, something I could definitely do right there. I think that looks pretty good. I don't know if I like the uh, insane amount of uh, string on the white. I think I probably have to switch out the color of the floor. I might even consider continuing this lining of sand. I actually am a big fan of that. I don't know. I might do something else, but we're basically going to have... Um, let me grab a cobblestone wall, and we're going to grab a, a stone slab. I'm going to basically put a projector somewhere in the middle of this table right there. So that'll be the projector. It's going to obviously project on this wall over here. And I think for what well, projectors are usually white, correct? So uh, I have to put a nice big, you know, white, uh, you know, I don't know, projector screen or something like that. We're going to have one, two, three, one, two, three. That's perfect. I can actually fit some Danville's anvils over there as well. So we'll do something like that. That's going to be our big projector screen. Like I said, we're going to add the Danville's anvils on this. We definitely got to add those. Um, let's see. I'm going to place one right here and one right here. I'm probably going to even add some sort of fancy ceiling design in here. I was thinking maybe, hmm, maybe some diorite, maybe some quartz. I might go with pillared quartz. I was thinking about above the desk here. I was going to do something like this. I was going to place like a maybe a four blocks wide or maybe even six blocks wide. Cover the whole desk of pillared quartz here. So let me just break these blocks and place those back. There we go. And I just wanted to kind of double stack this ceiling a little bit because this is actually connecting right to the outside. And that's slabbed as well. So it's not really that big of a ceiling here. So I definitely want to try to put something else in. I'll take this down to one block away from the edge of the table. And then this is just going to be a way I'm going to add some lighting and things like that. I think it should look pretty good. So let me break this, break this, take this and take it all the way down. It's going to hopefully look pretty good. Hopefully. Have this go all the way through there. Six blocks wide. It should be one block away from the table right there. Oh, actually, I got to add one more. So we'll do that. So one block away from the edge. One block away from the edge, looking pretty good. Might even expand the size of the table or make it smaller or bigger, depending on what I need to do for the size of the room. Haven't really thought about that just yet. And then as far as the projector is concerned, I'm just going to basically put exactly what I just had there, just put it back. So we're going to do something like, actually, I should probably put the projector like right here, right? That would probably make a little bit more sense. So we'll do something like that. So we got the projector looking pretty good and then basically the reason why i just added this is so i could put some lighting in it and i'm gonna do like sea lanterns probably in the corner blocks right there maybe like one in the middle if i can find the lining for it but that's basically what i wanted to do with that just so that there's some lighting above that and then i was thinking about even adding just like a lining of quartz slabs running straight through across to the end of this and I had these spaces closed off for maybe something at one point. I'll probably do like a glass wall or something with maybe like a reception desk or something in the uh, conference room here on the top floor of the hospital. But as far as like, you know, what I want to accomplish for this video, you know, we are right on track. Just kind of reimagining some of the things in the hospital that needed just a little bit more refinement and some better planning. I think it's looking pretty good. So this is going to be our conference room. This is going to look pretty cool when it's done, I think. I'm going to add some more details to it as I go, but we've made some good progress on the hospital today for today's episode of CLD, episode 289. Guys, thank you so much for watching. 
give this video a like if you did it enjoy it you guys can leave some question of the day submissions in the comment section below i'll try to look through those for episode 290 and we're getting pretty close guys we're gonna be in the 290s now that means of course i'm trying to release this on episode 300 so that means only 10 episodes left on the xbox version hopefully i can still reach my deadlines i'm getting a little nervous though i really got to grind out the world as much as i can no time I, I can't procrastinate you know i can't procrastinate this is very important that i get this done so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of cld it's been dan lags your host and i'll talk to you guys on the next episode peace out <music>